now we have a again same uh, Kingdom Rush again. This time it's from Sharpest Knife, a Norwegian runner. He's new to the game fairly. So let's just there we go. <coughs> um, <coughs> he's uh, he's actually done a later level, which a lot of people you might a lot of you might know. It's uh, one of the most common levels that's run. <coughs> I'm sorry about my cough. Um, but yeah. There we go. And like I said, this one is in a weird. It's four by three because it's um, web, and not actually. The um, is it paused? Oh, okay, I thought it was playing for some reason. It's web, and it's not actually PC or mobile. Great. So now it's not playing. There we are, let me just reload real quick. There we go. Not quite sure that wasn't working. Obviously. There we go, that time starts. Same uh, things. You can uh, time any starts when you, you press the skulls. Yeah, sorry, we don't have a, <laughs> we don't have a st um, stream commands or anything because I don't know how to do that. Um, you'll see here, for example, in this level, they can come in from three directions. So the later levels you get more of that where they come in from multiple directions. And um, in addition, you've also got these knights standing around, and that's because this is one of the. Um, you get these levels which have more uh, put into the story, and then after this, when this level finishes, for example, there'll be a little cutscene about how uh, you, the player, managed to defend the city, and that's why you'll see at the top there those uh, gates. That's the city that we should defend. And um, you'll see all the towers are magic towers. That's because all the enemies at this point are um, <coughs> um, non-human enemies. You see those little orcs and stuff at the bottom. And like I said, those are most vulnerable to magic. Yeah, this is the most known Kingdom Rush map, I think, apart from maybe the very first one. Um, this is probably the most known and most famous one, which, as I said at the beginning. And yeah, I was about to say, you do get flying enemies later on, but here they are. I think this is the first level with flying enemies, actually. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, obviously the problem with the flying enemies is any towers can hit them, and also if you upgrade your um, reinforcements, they can three spears. <coughs> now I see human enemies at the bottom, and this, he hasn't put any um, actual towers like archers or anything that's purely because there's so many more non-human enemies and the human enemies can still be killed fairly quickly by uh, using reinforcements and stuff <coughs> again more human enemies actually this is an interesting tactic because most runners would actually put a couple archers probably in the middle where you see the three magic towers put a couple there but Sharpest Knife has decided not to. Interesting. I haven't actually watched, like I said, he is quite new. Yeah, they do have, oh, there you go, highest DPS. Um, yeah, you'll generally see archers being used against human. But that's true, that's a good, uh, that's fair enough. <coughs> uh, I haven't actually Despite, you know, I'm probably one of the people that have run run this game the most, but I don't actually have, haven't really analysed it or for all the statistics and stuff, you know. So, I didn't actually know that. <laughs> but there you go. Yeah, like I said, Sharpest Knife, Norwegian runner, I believe. Quite new to the game, but already uh, pretty good at it. Was your latest run a world record then in the any percent? I cannot remember. I don't want to check in case I mess up the stream. There you go. So there's a hordes of. Uh, actually, if I would have used the um, meteor strike there, but again, there you go. Yeah, 
I thought so. Congrats on that, by the way, man. <clears throat> I was more uh, concerned about you telling me that, uh, revealing to the entire community that um, there was discrepancies between mobile and web and Steam. And I, I really wanted to analyse that, but I, I was kind of a bit busy doing this. Uh, yeah, okay. I thought you might have been saving those up to beat the orcs, which of course is fair enough. <clears throat> oh yeah, uh, I forgot to mention Sharpest Knife, if you do want, there is a mobile competition, a stream, sorry I keep saying mobile, a speedrunning competition, uh, do ask, you can, it's all in the um, description, we have Rain Dancer, uh, which you should PM those guys, Strange Kooji Studio, and they'll give you a free key, and there's also the mobile uh, no breaks. Uh, all the info for that, like I said, is in the screen description. So if you just scroll down. <coughs> Oof. So uh, yeah, there you go. Now you can upgrade those towers to max. That's probably a good tactic, actually. I always, when I run the game, I tended to use uh, big bursts mixed with um, archers. Um, but that was early game. You, do, you get less, more human enemies and less non. There's magic and um, monster enemies, so I don't have that much experience late game. So I may be wrong, and obviously, sharpest knife has, you know, got the world record for full game, or for uh, any percent, I should say. So probably knows more about the game than I do at this point. <coughs> And um, I know you can also upgrade to, uh, you can choose, you you can upgrade to, um, on, once you get past level 3 on the tower you can upgrade it to either be like this or you can be a necromancer I believe which spawns in like some golems and stuff and I always used to go with that because uh, it was fun to have as many things fighting on the ground as possible. It's not the fastest but yeah it's fun and I, you know. It's always nice to play a game for fun. Now, <clears throat> this is... I can't really see it, it's too small, but we're coming up to the last few waves here. There you go, there's a big bertha. Someone's using one. Um, so hopefully, well not hopefully, but maybe an enemy will get past and you'll be able to see it fire a big cannon thing. It's always nice to see. Huge destruction. Um, yeah, so the story behind this game I probably should have explained is this um, evil, think Voldemort, some evil guy has created armies of undead and all sorts of weird monsters and is basically attacking all the people in the kingdom. I don't know what the kingdom's called, but there is a kingdom. And he's just, uh, rushing the kingdom, hence the name. And obviously this is the original game, the original Steam, uh, sorry Flash, what am I talking about? The original Flash game. And uh, there's been plenty of sequels since. Uh, so, <coughs> God, sorry about that cough. Um, yeah, we've got there's three sequels. One came out recently. The most recent one, I believe, was Origins, Kingdom Rush Origins. They were all really great games, um, and I wish I could play them all. So here we go. Here's the final boss. At this level, shouldn't be too hard to just uh, to kill. Normally, it would take you know long, longer, but. We have optimised somewhat this game, and we've got our best player playing right now, so... Literally, I wonder if he's more vulnerable to magic or not. I guess in a DPS really helps then. And... There we go. That was pretty easy. <coughs> there you go. Time, 7.58. I did time, again. Not my best timing, but we'll have to retime that. But yeah, that was pretty good.